All right, so the guy is upstairs. Oh, that's just a horrendous aim right there. Just aiming up at the sky. Woo. <laughs> I did not mean to do that right there. I, <laughs> I wanted to wall bang that flash into the room. And I just, I don't know what happened. I guess I'm too strong. <laughs> How should I start this commentary? I guess I'll start it out by saying 300 points for double XP weekend. And I have to say that this commando, this blue commando with a blue dot instead of a red dot. This looks way better than the golden commando. I'm sorry. It just, it looks better than the golden commando. I don't need that, that 14th prestige. I look better like this. <laughs> oh man, I am in the right place at the right time. Looking like a boss. Maybe this can be a game that I can cherry pick. <laughs> cherry picking games. And speaking of cherry picking games, that's actually a that's actually a really interesting topic to talk about. I mean, we all know that the gaming community as a whole, we just complain too much. People complain about everything. They complain about all of the guns you use, the play styles. Like, I know there's going to be people saying, look, Chris Smoove is using a commando with a suppressor and a red dot and a claymore and high kill streaks. And he's camping and blah, 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 and, and, and. And you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, and. <laughs> so while you keep saying and after everything, I'm just going to say at the end of that, I'm going to say, and, but seriously, cherry picking videos. How can you complain about cherry picking videos? It's amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's think about the NBA YouTube channel. Do you think that the NBA YouTube channel is going to upload a video where Ron Artest is fighting a fan in the crowd? No. Of course not. Do you think that the NBA channel is going to upload the video of Kobe Bryant fighting Chris Childs? No. What about Kobe Bryant fighting Reggie Miller? No. But we don't even have to take it there to the NBA. We could just think about, I mean, I don't know. Let's think about Day Storm. Do you think that Day Storm is going to upload a video where he's like messing up on his rhymes? No. Do you think he's going to upload a video where like some dust falls off the ceiling and gets in his eye in the middle of recording? No. He's just going to retake it. He's going to re-record that sequence, re-record it over. And for us gamers, re-recording is showing a different game, a better game, a game where we did better. 13 and 0 in my chopper gunner. But we don't even have to take it there to Day Storm. I mean, maybe you don't know who Day Storm is. Maybe let's I don't know. What about what about Freddy W? You know who Freddy W is, right? Do you think that Freddy W is gonna upload a video where the cameraman is drunk and he's like sh he's like shooting at the at the ground looking at ants instead of filming that action that Freddie W is bringing to YouTube? No, if the cameraman is drunk and he's messing up on the film, he's just gonna get a new cameraman and they're gonna re-record that sequence again. So yeah, there we go. There's three examples of cherry picking videos to make good videos on YouTube. I mean, that's, that's what you should be doing. Now, Chris Smooth knows the real reason why people complain about cherry picking videos. Have you ever noticed that it's other video makers that complain about cherry picking videos the most? Now, why is that the case? I'd have to say it's because they feel pressured to provide the same kind of videos. They feel like if they don't get down to the ground noobs, 
As video makers, they feel like if they don't provide the same kind of videos, then no one is going to like them. So that's why they always criticize cherry picking videos. And but the thing is, there really is no YouTube standard. You can. Oh, you see that fire right right there? You see me firing before he even turned the corner. That's that smooth radar 71 swag. You can only do that with the smooth radar 71 up. Just firing before people even turn a corner. But seriously, there is no standard on YouTube and I have to be the perfect example of that. My first, I'd have to say, my first 10 first person shooter videos were like the worst gameplays on YouTube, like the worst scores and everything. Yet, I let them fly and they did, they did really well, but you know, the only standard is really just what you can do with your videos, with your gameplay. You know, you should be uploading the best stuff that you can do, not what other channels can do. It's what you can do. I mean, if your best games are like 15 and 10 games, let those videos fly. I mean, you know, I'm not saying you can't upload bad games, but why complain when people are uploading great games? It just, it just, it's just stupid. And it makes you look stupid. And it makes you look like a complainer. And there's already a lot of complainers. We don't need any more. Complaining about camping is the sign of a loss. I mean, it's not really that serious. I just think it's funny. It's a good topic for a YouTube video. For a YouTube gameplay. <laughs> uh, I like to help out my... Ooh. Look at that Claymore. Woo! I almost got owned right there. <laughs> almost, but... My kill streak setups are usually exactly the same every game because I just I like to have one low kill streak to help out my team. Look at this guy over there with that strella. Get that strella out of your hands. Oh friendly QE inbound. Securing Charlie. And we turned this game around. We were we were kinda kinda losing a little bit at the start, but now get turned. Throw out that Nova gas. Look, look at that Nova gas cheese. Nobody can come through that way. That's cheese. You, you know what? I, I should experiment with the camera spike, the Nova gas, and then capture a flag. You throw the camera spike in one direction, or you put it down defending one direction, looking at one direction. Then you throw your Nova gas in another direction, and then you look in another direction, and then you make sure to use the camera spike instead of your UAV while you capture the flag. Is that a smooth move or what? I need to give that a shot. I think I'm gonna set up a class and do just that and capture flags. Lay down that camera spike. Throw out that Nova gas. Woo! That guy, he just, he just got owned. Another counter. Gotcha. Oh, you're gonna shoot at my green teammate? I'm gonna shoot at you. And look out, you see you see those guys over there with those strellas? Let's go get those guys with those strellas. Oh, he went up here. He went up here. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to come up here. Get down. I got a personal. I, I, it's personal with me and those strella players. It's personal. Get down. If I see you using the strella, I'm coming for you. Oh! I look like I just got hit. All right, I'm just letting that. I'm just letting that chopper going to fly for those points. On double XP weekend, 600 points to let one fly. So even if I don't get to destroy here at the end of the game, since it's almost over, I still got a good amount of points. Come here, you little Strella. Come here, you Strella players. I I, I have beef with you Strella players. We don't get along. <laughs> Strella players on the other team, me and them, we don't get along. All right, I think I think I need to take it easy, calm down a little bit. I'm too hyped right now. I'm just just ready to go. Oh, no connection. Oh, no, no connection interruption. Come on now. All right, there we go. 48-4 is the score.